Good afternoon, Ralph E. Hartman here on Beneva Roadside near Village Green Golf Course. Decided I should mention an incident to you. Uh, a while ago, I was south of here uh, you know, working on a journal review from uh, March of 2022. I finished some editing and title, titling and decided to walk away to a bus stop. Well, as I walked, all of a sudden, uh, a usual uh, gay male who, uh, I guess he's uh, from a uh, from family that I never knew out west, uh, reverted to acting friendly, uh, uh, saying words, oh, a song from your past. And uh, he, what he had done was he had become aware of, however they do it, because of what they had done to me earlier in my life, they became aware of some details of the editing. And uh, a difficulty is, is he was citing uh, a song that I had included uh, a study against uh, some years ago during uh, a research ab uh, about concerns pertaining to some uh, uh, threats of uh, trying to take over nuclear ballistic missile submarines. Uh, the particular song he was alluding to was uh, Wildfire by uh, a man named Michael Murphy that began back in 1975. Well, another difficulty is that the detail in the editing was uh, somebody uh, probably from the same uh, orientation, uh, Nebraska, Colorado, Utah, one of the three or all three, uh, that uh, on the particular day back in March of 22, he had said a, a threat of, uh, this pony is flamethrowers. So anyway, uh, uh, what, the, what the man uh, said this morning uh, indicates that they that the uh, song wildfire that they pivot on it for actual wildfires even to the extent that they use flamethrowers to cause wildfires well I don't agree about that at all I'm always only for prevention instead so uh, anyway the, uh, of course like I've uh, already mentioned said that they they reminded me of a song that actually turned out to be of controversy and uh, I really discovered about it accidentally of course, like anyone else, back in 75, I heard the song occasionally on the radio, but it wasn't anything that I ever requested, and it, and it certainly wasn't anything that I that I consider relevant to me in any way. Uh, not until uh, the research began back in uh, 2001. Uh, the reason for the study was uh, 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 discovering a very worrisome article in Time magazine in the March uh, 2001, one of the March 2001 issues, I think it was the March 23rd. Uh, titled Practicing for Doomsday. It was about a, a cruise of the USS ne uh, uh, Nebraska uh, near the end of 1999. Well, uh, the detail that uh, worried me in the particular article was that uh, I think the wording was exactly the, the ship took uh, grim pride with the knowledge of being the sixth largest nuclear power in the world uh, by, uh, while at sea independently the sixth largest nuclear power so that worried me right away because they're talking about uh, a, a particular supposedly US uh, supposed to be US submarines uh, changing to being independently the sixth largest nuclear power in the world and uh, so that uh, uh, kind of uh, 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 contributed to other uh, similar concerns that there might be conspiracy pivoting on the particular submarine so anyway, uh, studying all kinds of different subjects, looking for various uh, indications. Uh, one of the indications was be because of the name Nebraska that I remembered the wildfire song. And I decided to research that. And when I researched it, I discovered something. That the particular song was first released on exactly the day before or the day after I began technical training in the Navy in uh, NATTC Memphis in Millington, Tennessee. Well, uh, that is also partly uh, uh, an interesting detail in, the, in, in that it wasn't uh, planned that way. Uh, I had jo when I joined the Navy um, uh, the year before, in 1974, I enlisted to become an anti-submarine warfare operator. And uh, I, was, uh, I, mean, I was looking forward to the, uh, the entry, what would, I decided would be an interesting job, that I'd always be flying or I'd be on a ship. Uh, I wasn't much of a flyer really, but I thought I'd get used to it. I decided I'd get used to it. So anyway, uh, uh, during the basic training though, uh, I was uh, called aside uh, uh, for a class one swimming test. Uh, it was supposedly the, was the uh, most, uh, uh, you know, the most significant uh, uh, swimming test in the Navy for uh, basic training. And uh, I didn't pass it. And I protested uh, 
uh, saying, if I had known that I would be required to be a class one swimmer, that when, uh, while I'm knowing that I'm actually only a mediocre swimmer, that I'd have chosen a different rating. Because I, so I didn't know that there was a requirement to be a class one swimmer. So anyway, they sent me to reclassification and said that I could choose any other electronics related field, so I became an aviation electronics technician. But anyway, what it turned out to be, and uh, the theory is, and I think it's mostly proven by now, is that a family that I didn't know anything about, uh, pivoting with the former fa the father who had staged his death and lived on in secret, Al Hartman from Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska area, had decided to secretly pivot on me from them being something of a gay underworld. That while I was proceeding normally, I was being followed secretly by a father who was secretly gay and who had partly chosen a stepfather who was also secretly gay, who whom had been a Navy aviator uh, back during World War II and for a time after. So anyway, uh, when I was reclassified from anti-submarine warfare operator, they decided to get kind of egotistical. Uh, there isn't any way he'd ever be able to find this. And so uh, the uh, particular song, Wildfire, allegedly was, was devised partly specifically with a prediction of a particular, the advent of, a, of the eventuality of a, of a nuclear submarine that would be named the Nebraska. So uh, that was the theory and that is the concern. And uh, in the particular lyric, that the reason the, the, uh, the man is uh, saying that he's a pony of, that's uh, flamethrowers uh, caused the worry and reminded me of the song, is that the so in the song there is a lyric that says, uh, pony named wildfire, and uh, then and other lyrics it says, and uh, on wildfire we're both going to go. So anyway, they speak of it in the Nebraska night and being on something that is going to, you know, that they're both going to go on. And, uh, uh, you know, subsequent study indicates that it was uh, something of a, of a prediction of the advent of the particular nuclear ballistic missile submarine. So anyway, there's a lot more uh, detail uh, pertaining to that study that I will go ahead and mention in, in, some, uh, in some other messages. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to mention that uh, pertaining to that song from 1975, there are some that still pivot on it, and uh, uh, the pony uh, uh, of flamethrowers is something to be worried against rather than something to be sentimental about. I hope everyone's having a good, I hope everyone's having a good day.